Hey guys, Dr. Ken from Activate Health here. If you're finding yourself sitting at your desk, getting up with a stiff neck, sore back, I'm gonna show you some basic exercises to help correct your posture, um, get those muscles moving, get you a little bit stronger, and help to correct that so it's not a problem going forward. So as I mentioned, you can use a basic resistance band at home. Um, today I'm using a CLX band by TheraBand. If you've seen some of my other videos, uh, you can see how it can be used a little bit more dynamically um, than just your basic raw bands or maybe your loops. Um, so I really like using the TheraBands. So if you find this to be a little bit more beneficial, feel free to check it out in my website under uh, our shop page with other, this and other featured products. So for this first exercise, we're gonna do nothing more than a basic chin tuck. You guys have probably seen this exercise before. How we're gonna be using the resistance band to help to strengthen these front neck muscles up a little bit more. So if you find yourself in that forward head position like so, these muscles are probably lengthened and weakened, so we're gonna really work on targeting these muscles, kind of draw them back and get you in a more upright position. So to start off, we're just bringing the band up over the head. And if you guys aren't familiar with the CLX band, the nice thing again about it is it has these little loops in it for you. So you don't have to worry about holding on or hurting your wrists. It's really just basic and you can just kind of slip the hands right through. So it makes it really nice and easy. So again, we're just in this position, hands, behind, hands on the side of the head with the band behind the back. We're drawing the chin straight back, tucking in. Not a hard contraction, but just a light subtle contraction. Draw the head back, pausing for a one, two count, and then slowly releasing. So again, Drawing the head back, pausing one, two, slowly releasing. And that's our chin tuck with a resistance band. So for the second exercise, we're gonna be working on targeting the shoulders a little bit more. So if you find yourself sitting at your work desk with these slumped, rounded shoulders, we're really gonna to try to get these shoulders back and down and help building up the strength of those muscles on the back of the shoulder blade. So again, with our resistance band, we're just taking some tension Okay, keeping your wrists in a nice neutral position. That means we don't want the wrists kind of falling forward and we don't want the wrists kind of cocked out. We want them right in the middle here, okay? So a nice neutral position. We're taking some tension on the band. We're keeping the elbows nice and tight to the side, engaging the core also. That's very important. We don't want to be just kind of like letting ourselves fall forward. We want to draw the core abdominals in, bring our spine in a nice upright position. From there, we're just keeping our elbows nice and tight to the side, pulling your shoulder blades back and down and then drawing out with the band. Again, pausing for a count of one, two, slowly letting the band back in. So again, engaging the core, pulling the shoulder blades back and down, keeping the elbows tight to the side, pulling out with the band, okay, just within a comfortable range, slowly letting the band come back in, maintaining a little bit of tension when we come in, and then repeating out. And that's our second exercise. Okay, for our third exercise, again, we're gonna be targeting the shoulder and our core muscles. We're gonna do what we call army crawl on the wall, okay? So this is kind of similar to like a plank position, but we're gonna be on the wall versus on the ground. We're gonna be putting the band around our wrists. So if you have a loop that works, if you have the CLX, that's great. Or if you just have a raw band, just tie it in the loop so that you can put it around the wrist like so. We're bringing the arms onto the wall. We wanna make sure that we're engaging the shoulders. We're not just kind of hanging out on the shoulders. We wanna be pressing through the wall so we're engaging our shoulder blades. The other important thing that we're doing is we're working on keeping these core muscles nice and tight, okay? We don't wanna just be hanging out and letting the back sag in. So again, we're kind of pressing through the wall, engaging our core, flattening the back, keeping tension through the band. And as we kind of maintain that tension and that support through our arms, we're going to be crawling up and then back down. Crawling up and then back down. The other important thing is keeping your head in line with your spine, right? So we don't want the head kind of falling forward like so. We wanna draw the chin back. Again, pressing through the wall, through the shoulders, keeping the core engaged, flattening the back, keeping tension in the band, walking the arms up the wall, and then back down. And that's our third exercise. So there you have some of my favorite exercises that I use with my clients to help strengthen up their core muscles, to help improve their posture and get them out of that slump seated position. So I hope you guys like these exercises. Try them out. If you have any questions, feel free, shoot me a DM.